what is up everybody it's your boy looney pack and i'm back with some overwatch gameplay and the year of the rooster update is finally here as you can tell i'm very excited about it <laughs> as soon as your update installs and you load in you get a brand new loot box and a brand new icon and as you can see on my screen we get to see diva's new skin um it's different i really like it let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section but my favorite has to be maze uh, i might do a video going over like the skins and the highlight intros um later on for this this update but as for right now let's talk about the new game mode the capture the rooster game mode um if you don't know what this is it's essentially just capture the flag you know but blizzard's way of styling the name <laughs> and um it's pretty cool you playing the the chinese you know inspired maps <clears throat> so far i like it it's pretty hard though because obviously this is the first day everyone's playing this and there's really no set strategy on what to do yet so it's pretty difficult to get the other team's flag and just like every other game mode on overwatch you have to play as a team you know and this time i was running solo so i, I wasn't really running with my team that's my bad but you know i just wanted to experiment with the the new game mode and so far i like it i like it once me and my crew finally hop on and we play this game mode we could probably get something going on but so far i haven't won a game yet <laughs> Like I said earlier, this is strictly a team-based game, so it's pretty difficult to actually run solo on here and actually try and get the flag yourself. What I noticed was, um, I played a couple games before I made this video, maybe three or four, and what I noticed was a lot of people were picking Tracer and Winston. To me, it seems like those are going to be the two most played characters in this game mode because for one, you know when you guys get Winston's special or his ultimate, um, he has no cooldown when he hops around. And when I was playing earlier, I think I still have the clip, I'll put it up on the screen right now if I do. But the Winston on the enemy team, he had his ult, he used it, and he grabbed our flag and instantly just kept hopping around, hopping around while he was in, like, still in his, um, his ape mode or crazy mode, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, but, he, he, like, that's a good strategy. I'm not going to hate on that because, you know, you know, you're just doing what the game gave you. It was very effective. He had literally took, like, three hops from my side to their side, and, you know, he captured the flag. But Tracer is pretty much made for this game mode because once he grabs the flag, she can zip from one place to the other in a matter of seconds, to be honest. Um, I think I have a clip of that one also. They scored on us twice. And as you can see, Tracer, she just literally grabbed the flag and just uh, just zipped her way through to uh, you know her, her base and scored on us twice. Another character that I think will be played a lot in this game mode is Sombra. As you can see, I'm using her right now. Um, her invisibility cloak is going to come in handy to sneak up behind the enemy team. But the only downfall with this is that you can't pick up the flag while you're invisible which i think you should be able to because if you can have winston's ult and you can grab the flag like that i think you should be able to grab it while invisible and like once you capture it you obviously get shown on the map so it's not like you're like invisible anymore but i think for the time being while you're trying to get the flag i think you should be able to now a main character for the defensive end symmetra is probably everyone's go-to um, I have a clip right here. As you can see, Symmetra is holding it down. She killed me and along with a few of my other teammates. The defensive end on each team is most likely going to have a Symmetra because her lasers will tear you up every time you try and capture that flag. If your team or the enemy team, you know, doesn't destroy the lasers before they try and capture the flag, I guarantee you will not get it because... First of all, it takes a while to capture it. And second of all, she's too powerful, bro. Like, if you don't take her out and her lasers, I can guarantee you will not get that flag. <laughs> Overall, this is a great game mode. Um, but like I said, I do recommend you don't play solo and you play with a team simply because communication is key and there won't be any problems when, you know, choosing characters for who's going to defend or who's going to attack. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you have to say. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and also subscribe to join the pack and I'll see you guys next video.